Hi, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to use features in Microsoft Word to add a table of contents and an index. All right, so I have a dummy document already set up with some filler text, 17 page document. The first thing I'm going to do is create a table of contents, and that's going to be pretty easy for me because my document already has heading styles scattered throughout. And if you're going to create a table of contents, you need to be using heading styles. Now, I just used heading one, but you could have also used heading one and heading two. So um, let's see. So I've got a number of headings, and pretty much they're all the same throughout my document. So I'm going to head it to the top of my document and just give myself a new blank line, a new paragraph line. I'm going to head over to the References category, Table of Contents, and just do a built-in table of contents, and it's going to throw all those in. Now, don't forget, I just really quickly put in a bunch of headings and I just use the same text because I copied and pasted so that's why they all show up the same however if I were to change one of these like this one title over here and I called it um, um, developing new skills I could head over to my table of contents which exists right click on it and there is an option to update the field and you can now see that developing new skill new skills is showing up in my table of contents the other nice thing about it is as you add to your document and the page numbers change you can update your table of contents and the page numbers will change on here and it can also be used as a navigation tool I can control click on a particular item in my table of contents and it will jump to that part of the document so I'm now on page 12 of 18 I'll just do a control page up go back to the top. So it's pretty useful to create a table of contents even in the developing stages of your large document. And I'll just do a page break on there so now the table of contents is on a page by itself. Now for the index. The index is a little bit more detailed and you might not use an index until you're doing a really large document but certainly we've all took it, taken advantage of using a book index before. So basically, that's when we want to mark specific words and phrases throughout the document, and we want to have specific page numbers at the end. So I'll give you a quick example. I'll go ahead and select the word lorem here in my first paragraph. On the references, I'm going to head over to the index group, and I'll mark entry. Gives me a few choices on here. So my main entry is the word that I've got selected. I could put in a sub-entry or a cross-reference, things like that. And I could also choose to mark or mark all. I'm going to just choose mark in this particular example. Now that does turn on my show hide formatting marks. So I can close this box and on my home ribbon I can see that my show hide formatting marks is turned on versus turned off. And you can see the kind of code that Microsoft Word is putting behind the scenes. Now let's try this again. I'm going to go to another word in my document. In fact, I'll scroll down to another page. I'm going to select a word. This time I'm going to do um, Alt-Shift-X. So the keyboard shortcut Alt-Shift-X will also open up my mark index entry so I can move a little bit faster. And I can just choose to mark and move on. And I will try another one where this dialog box is staying open. Pick another word. Oh, looks like I have two. Copy and, oh, there we go. Once I copy and click, it'll mark it over here, or put it into the main entry box. Then I can choose, I'll choose mark all for this particular word. And uh, yeah, so now I've got several of these done. You might do a lot. There could be multiple words, keywords on each page, ideally putting it on the first occurrence of a particular theme or a topic or where it's really explained. Now that I'm ready to insert my index, I've already got a heading for my index. I'll just put my insertion point below my heading, head back over to my references, and this time I'm going to insert an index. There will be a default format. I'm just going to choose the default, even though there are some cop some options in here that I could choose. Click OK. And let me turn off my formatting mark so it's not too distracting. And I now have an index. It's set up into a two-column layout, um, which is pretty standard, so nothing wrong with that. And this tells me that the word lorem, at least the one that I marked, occurs on page two. Uh, Pelentesque occurs on page four. And then the one where I marked all, this word temper, occurs, occurs on multiple pages. So although my example here is not so practical, where I selected words that were repeated throughout my document, if I was going with themes or pages or, uh, you know, or skills or, um, 
multi multi word phrases then it would be a much more valuable process so as you're going through that large document you can simply select text references and mark the entry or alt shift X to mark that particular selection and then later on just go ahead and create your index automatically so there you go tables of contents and indexes for word documents